I created the school between Jean-Lapin and Antibes. We have a, uh, an apartment of about 100 square meters. And we have all the facilities ready to go as it was on a yacht. We teach from silver service to bedrooms, to kitchen, behind the scene, respect, etiquette, loyalty, washing, laundry, cleaning. I don't think that you can get that information anywhere else and I think that the experience and the things that you do learn um, put you in a position to really be able to walk onto a boat and um, you know I guess you just walk on board and you can immediately identify with um, things that you've learnt in your course. And you walk straight in the first thing is one of you checks the side of the bed. I think what we do at the training school is to give them a very good understanding of what's expected of them at this level of service and with the sort of people that they're dealing with. Um, so, and probably take away the fear of it because you, quite often people who have not been around very wealthy individuals um, are rather intimidated by them. So we really fast track them into a situation where they're not intimidated. Well, which is easier, I could go to the side of her, Madame. Our trainers are very experienced. Um, my trainers are all ex-chief stewardesses that have been in the industry, some for 20 years, some for 10 years, some for five years, and they're all now retired. So you're going to come and take the glass, you're going to take the glass over, and you're going to fill it and bring it back. It's been so much fun and hard work, but you definitely can feel like you can go into the industry knowing a lot more than you would have done prior to the course. I feel so much more confident. I've learnt things from silver service to making cocktails to making a bed, just the ins and outs of it all. I've, it's been a fantastic experience and it gives me a lot more confidence to step on board and you know, take charge and do my position. It's important that, that there are recognised qualifications that people can actually present as a standard qualification, as a, as a measure of their competence. Um, and that should set them apart from people who haven't done that kind of training. If someone were to come on board here with, uh, with, with a piece of paper saying that they had invested in themselves and they wanted to work on board a boat over someone who hadn't invested in themselves, it's not a huge, difficult decision to make for a captain. It definitely gives you an advantage over all the other candidates out there who are looking for a job. It is definitely money well spent. I'm glad I did the course, you know. I definitely recommend the course to my friends as well, joining the industry. As soon as you start earning, you're probably going to pay back the cost of a training course in less than a month, notwithstanding whatever tips you might get, just with a, a month's salary. So it's, a, it's, a, it's an investment in yourself. And of course, these are the sort of skills that we teach you that you can take on to all sorts of other industries. Since I left yachting, I've worked in um, running concierge programs in the luxury villa market, um, teaching of course, but, but even in your own home life when you're giving dinner parties it's lovely to be able to set a table well, to be able to serve your guests beautifully, to arrange flowers, to have a knowledge of wines, all that sort of stuff you can take on into your future life. Thank you, thank you very much. Okay. And that's the proper height for a juice. What have I enjoyed the most? Probably working alongside professional people who really know what they're doing and it's, it's serious but it's light-hearted as well and it's fun and it's not just, I mean obviously you have to take your job seriously and you don't, you can't mess around but they do make it fun and they do make it as practical as possible without, without actually throwing you out there on like a, you know, an actual situation on a boat. Just while you guys were filming these interviews, I got a phone call and an interview for a job on a 50 metre motor yacht. Just after my interior training school, I got offered a position on a super yacht. And where are you flying to? Um, America, actually, and then next where? week. Then go to Brazil, the Amazon River, and all around South America. Yeah.